for any men that might be sneaking in on the women's conference on Daystar, you're listening. If you want a wife, ask the Lord to close the place of your flesh. The prerequisite to getting a wife is having your flesh closed. The other side for any of my single sisters is a guy, what is about, where, 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 Lord, where am I going to be found, Jesus? I've been in here worshiping you perfect in all of your ways, but I'm still single. Here's what the scripture says. He that finds a wife finds a good thing. It didn't say he that finds a girl that he's attracted to, who he then begins to date who he then calls his girlfriend, who he then buys a ring, proposes and makes her his fiance, who he then marries later, who becomes his wife. You're not a wife when I marry you, you're a wife when I find you. You become my wife when I marry you. But a wife is not the presence of a ring, it's the presence of your character. Too many women wanna be married, but you're walking in the spirit of girlfriend. Ask the Lord to deliver you from that spirit and carry yourself like you're already taken. And I promise you, when you carry yourself like a wife, a husband will find you. But if you keep walking like a girlfriend, boys will play with you. First Kings 17. God created you to perpetuate his plan. While Adam was asleep, God was forming this beautiful creature, Eve, the mother of all living. And Adam woke up and saw her and said, this is bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she came from man, wombed man. She's not a different species. She's a man with a womb. She can do what I can't do on my own. She is me in exponential form. What I give her in concentrated form, she can multiply. The power of a woman is the power of multiplication. If I give you groceries, you make it dinner. I give you a house, you make it a home. I give you a seed, you give me a son. This is the power of femininity. Don't you ever discount the power that God has given you. You are creative and didactic and absolutely essential to the plan of God. You are phenomenal sitting there in this premium chair there watching on Daystar Network with your anointed gifted self and then the enemy lied to you this morning when you woke up and you were sitting in the mirror and you put on all this makeup and all of this stuff because somebody lied to you and told you you weren't pretty as is. Stop sitting in the mirror for two hours trying to fix what was never broken. You're beautiful because God made you that way. Stop hiding your scars. Your scars are your testimony. Some of my single sisters, you're trying to figure out why you're single. He's looking for somebody that's the actual you, not the projected you. Take some of that stuff off, I promise you. Not only will he find you, but you'll find yourself because you are beautiful. God created you that way. Some of y'all like, I would, amen, but I just bought some makeup at Mac, so I just, I'll shout on that one in about a week. I just got my hair done. Just got my hair done, Jesus. Can't even scratch it, Jesus. Some of my white sisters are like, what is that? I don't, I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand. Ask a sister. They, they tell you, they can't. They can't scratch it once they get it done. They sleep standing up. They just, they, for two weeks. Just... First Kings 17. Thank y'all. Thank y'all, worship team. 